I'm Tim Thost, and I've been using Vegas for many years, so I was really looking forward to Vegas 14, just released by its new owners at Magic, to see what's changed. The most startling thing about 14 is that it undoes a number of changes in Vegas 13, bringing back the feel of a more professional editing tool. Out goes the simple mode, out goes the large icons and the super large player controls, and out goes those tucked away functions and this drop down menu for the timeline operation. So what's new? Well if you're looking for a mass of new features and major performance enhancements, well you're going to be disappointed. The features list for Vegas 14 new things looks pretty sparse. The biggies are the user interface, social media upload, 4K monitor support, multicam production and improved RAM preview. The rest is pretty marginal. So let's look at the biggest new feature, the multicam production. This has been brought over from Vegas Pro and when you have a multi-camera recording this makes it very easy to create a production by switching between the camera angles in the preview screen. Multi-camera is in fact a whole set of functions that makes it simple to use but very flexible. Next edition is the social media upload. This is absolutely expected on any low or mid price video editor and will render and load your videos directly to YouTube, Facebook or Vimeo either in 845 by 480 or full high res. But it stops at those and doesn't really go into the wider range of social such as Twitter and Flickr. Vegas is also highlighting the new trimmer window hover scrub which gives better control over pre-editing and marking up clips before they go onto the timeline. The overall performance and processing speed doesn't seem to have changed, but Magic has improved the RAM handling for the preview window. So if you do find it annoying to have stuttering preview images when there's lots of rendering going on, this can help. So that's about it for the new stuff, but there's a lot of small changes that have been made to the layout of the work surface. The Magic team seem to have reviewed what the changes Sony made in Vegas 13 and found that many simply didn't help. So 14 takes the best of Vegas 12 and 13 to create something that is better to use than either. For experienced users, Vegas 14 is a very recognisable layout. All the key elements are in the same place, such as the docking areas, the preview and the timeline. On the previous screen, the play controls are now about the right size and are duplicated on the bottom menu. The Add Effects button is joined now by a split screen mode so you can view before and after effects have been applied side by side. The top main toolbar has the File, Simple Edit and Rendering tools with better designed and clearer icons. The bottom transport and editing bar is where the biggest layout changes have been made compared to both Vegas 12 and 13. You have the player controls duplicated here and the edit tool icons are now on the menu bar with normal, envelope, selection and zoom, again with clearer icons and selection. And the snap, crossfade, auto ripple, lock envelope and event grouping are now a lot easier to find and use. On the normal edit tool, there's now shuffle to rearrange clips, together with the slip and slide selections. And it's nice to see that the ability to add fades in normal edit mode has been restored. There are two additions here. One is the apply effects to everything on the track option, and the audio tracks now come with their own meter, which is a great sense check for levels. And that really is about it. So, on to an opinion of this new version. Vegas 14 is the best presented Vegas movie to date, with the tools you need to hand on the work surface rather than in the sub-menus. The extra functions were welcome, but hardly groundbreaking. And the engine improvements, apart from the preview RAM handling, seem to be minimal. As a long-time Vegas user, I'll obviously tend to think well of it. OK, it doesn't have the consumer features you'll see on mobile apps or even Premiere Elements, but it has a professional feel to it. So if you're using a previous Vegas version as a serious editing tool, then 14 is worth the upgrade. And for newcomers to video production, 
If you're looking for something that feels a bit more faux, then Vegas 14 will do it for you. If you found this useful, don't forget to like it. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more Vegas editing tools and tricks and a lot more.